first of all, I'm gonna make this chicken. I'm just putting it all in. I've got coconut cream. I'm making the coconut cream the base of my chicken. Um, I'm gonna estimate once I split it up what the macros look like. Um, based off the nutrition on there and the weight of the chicken and stuff like that. I've been doing this for a really long time with WAG since like 2017, so I've gotten pretty good at this. Um, but I'm doing it on a coconut cream base, one because it'll be really nice, but also because I'm going to be eating it at the start of the day and at the end of the day, maybe it'll be one of the two I'm going to split with the other meal. Um, and I'll want that good fat to kind of like keep me going, um, and they're the best times to have it. I don't want to have too much fat around my workout, so um, put the coconut cream in. And then I've got uh, this, which is like... Oh, don't worry, I'll clean it. <laughs> and then I've got um, this little curry blend. Sometimes I just put my own together, but there's some spice ladies at our local market and I had this left over. So I'm gonna put that in with some onion, some chicken, some ghee, some sweet potato. We're ready to go. Doesn't look like much for now, but... Uh... I've chucked it all in there, I cut the sweet potato up nice and big so that I can separate it to count my macros and then I've got the chicken all underneath and the um, yeah, coconut cream and spices and all that jazz, super simple, I'm going to chuck the lid on, I'm going to cook it for like 5 or 6 hours, put it into some containers, we're ready to go. Um, I've got that cooking and then I've got a bunch of like old bananas. Um, I'm gonna peel those, put them into a container and then pop them in the freezer and then they're gonna be the foundation for my smoothies which I'll have sort of in the middle of the day. Um, and I'll have those with my No Way, so my collagen protein. Um, this chocolate one it has more protein. I have this one um, at night time. It's coffee flavored but it's not coffee. Um, not caffeinated, sorry. Um, I have that at night time with some like mushrooms in it just as like I make it like a warm drink, it's super nice. Um, but the foundation of my smoothies in the day will be some dates, so fresh dates, that collagen no way from ATP Science and the frozen bananas and maybe some other frozen fruit. I keep it really simple. A couple of other snacks I've got, um, rice crackers, they're just super easy to eat and just like help with the carbs sometimes, they kind of fill me up. And then I've actually been having these bars, they're called Chief Bars and they're literally like a jerky bar. Um, and it's just like organic grass fed beef, amaranth flour, um, cranberries, coconut aminos, vinegar, salt, spices, lactic acid. They're like super straight up and they have heaps of protein um, and minimal fat and minimal carbs. So um, I can have that uh, with lunch with the smoothie if I feel like I need a bit of a top up on the protein or at some stage in the afternoon. Um, yeah, it just saves me like having another like actual meat like that kind of is work. It's just super easy. Um, and it's a bar. So I trialed them out throughout the week just to make sure that my gut liked them, they were good, and they've been great so far. So um, there are a couple extra snacks. Other things I add in um, is I have like dairy free chocolate that's like super clean. It's like I'll have like a couple of pieces of that throughout the day. Um, some fruit, dates are my thing. If you followed me for a while, I always do fresh dates because for like two fresh dates, on average that weighs about 40 grams um, for two dates and you'll get like 30-ish grams of carbs so and it's for like a tiny amount of food so I don't have to put like a big amount of food in my belly and I can get really easy energy straight away so that's usually going to be my go-to in the afternoon um, right before I do the first event or maybe between the two events. What are you doing? I'm going to the Was that taking too long? Yeah, that's so giant. It is so giant. You want me to cut it? And you, yeah, I'll cut the skin off and then after this orange you need to get ready for a nap, okay? It's not nap. It is actually, it's almost nap time now. Yeah. I also bought these, they're like Anzac Bickies. The ingredients were super basic as far as like, you know, eating a lot of carbs can be done wrong and you can end up giving yourself um, some serious issues. So I try and do it as as easy as possible and also uh, like as easy as possible and, and have things that I actually want to eat in competition um, you know because sometimes you just like really don't want to so something like a biggie is like really easy um, but uh, yeah not eating like too much crazy junk food that I'm like actually you know becoming really unhealthy and creating really unhealthy habits and potentially doing stuff to my gut and my like insulin levels and all that kind of stuff so um, timing is key around that kind of stuff making sure that the carbs stacked around my workouts. Um, and then, yeah, these were like, yeah, they're pretty good. Um, and then my other go-to 
I guess it falls into supplement category, but the thing I have like in between events, I'll have this after the first one, um, before going to the next one, hang on a second baby, um, is this Zeus juice. So this is um, an aminos blend from ATP Science. I don't know what, I feel like I read something about like the timing of taking aminos and um, you know, either before, during or after and how they can make a difference. And then I don't know if it was just like the placebo, but oh, Scotty just moved the camera. Hang on a second, baby. Um, but honestly, I noticed such a difference. Um, you know, in competition, there's no such thing as intro workout because obviously you're not going to stop to drink. But uh, straight after a workout, like within literally five or ten minutes, I'll have that and it just like brings me right back to life. So that's going to be my go to straight after an event. Um, and then once I've like cooled down, I'll go and grab a snack. Scotty's trying to. Hey, babe, what's up? I have what? some. Orange. Did you? Yeah. Was it good? Yeah. Oh, cool. I, I got my koala blanket. It's not a koala, it's just a bear. No, it's a koala. Oh, okay. Sorry. <coughs> anyway, we're doing a lot of mum life today too. We've had swimming lessons and we've got soccer this afternoon. I'm going to do my, um, no, therefore the holiday we're going on. Did you just poke your eye? Are you okay? Are you sure? <laughs> um, but yeah, we're doing a lot of mum life. We've got soccer this afternoon and then I've got to do, um, hang on babe. I've got to do my um, training for today in her sleep. So I'm hoping she sleeps soon. Will you go to sleep for me, please? No. Yeah, come on. No. Oh. <laughs> I just finished off my zone two. I did a um, 40 minute zone two session um, and I did some like strict hands and push-ups and stuff in preparation I just boxed up the rice and I just thought I'm gonna um, cook some pasta so I'm just heating up the water for that I'm gonna cook some pasta I'll do the mince um, I've got a bunch of our cow mints here um, so I'll cook that up in some like tin tomatoes and super basic some spices and stuff and then I've got quite a few options. I can mix and match it. I think the last thing I'll do is maybe a big tray of roast vegetables. And then I've got roast vegetables, pasta, rice as my carb source. And then I've got the chicken, the mince, and then um, my collagen. And I oh, actually, some mail came today and I forgot I did this and it's the best ever. I bought these. So I've got this um, good fish mackerel and good fish tuna. It's expensive, but it's much better than your standard stuff um so yeah i've got a couple of different protein sources it's only three days um and look i won't want to eat a lot of meat and stuff anyway so um i've got options we can mix and match and then scotty and maddie can um mix and match as well um for their dinners and maddie will probably eat lunch i don't know out or something he'll just eat whatever or next to nothing um and scotty will have what i have so we're almost set 